Boys, groups, kids, girls, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salty, and how you doing today? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Uh, last episode, we ended off with two more trainer battles, and then this guy would give us a reward. I actually ended up doing those two battles off screen and got the reward off screen uh, because I was just grinding so we can get ready for the gym. Um, and all we got was the TM for Aerial Ace. That's what he rewarded us with. Um, and I checked out how to make it, and it was actually only, it was only Starly Feathers and Fletchling Feathers. So I decided to actually teach it to Fletchling, because it'll give us a good, uh, flying-type move for this upcoming gym. So yeah, so Fletchling's got Aerial Ace now, and if I ever need another one, because, like, TMs are single-use now... If I ever need another one, no big deal. I can just go kill a couple Starlies because I've already killed 17 Talon Flames. Sorry, Fletchlings. And that way we can get right into the gym in today's episode. Look at that beauty. I did not mean to click that. All right, get back on my ride on so I could leap over this and come here. All righty. Now, it's gym time. Nomona, what are you doing here? Am I going to have to battle you first? Yes, I'm doing gym badges. I'm actually going to do all three things, but we're going to start off with Jip. We're actually not going to get the Starfall in a little bit, at least. Starfall's levels are pretty high. All right, I'm here to take on the gym. Let's get into this. What's going on here? Okay, we got to do a gym test. We got to do the olive rule. I have to go to the olive rolling field. Right. Right, right, right. Kind of forgot about this. Uh, the only reason I know about this is because I've also started live streaming this game as well. Um, however, I haven't gotten past this gym. Uh, the furthest I got in the game was I actually whited out at this gym in my live stream series. Because my live stream series, in case you didn't know, is a mono-electric run. Uh, it's a mono-electric hardcore Nuzlocke. So, quite different from this. Um, and, uh, yeah, I had to do this, and then I lost in the gym battle. Spoiler alert. Alright, I'm here for the olive ball pushing. Let's get to this! Also, like, this... Here we go. Um... This has got to be one of the most boring and stupid gym tests. I'm really hoping the other gym tests are better. Two, one, go. All, I, all I'm doing is pushing around this ball. Let's go. I don't know if it's in honor of small live or something. Why we're doing this. No clue. Oh, yeah, and then I could take her shortcut if I battle her. If I battle this lady here, she'll give me a shortcut path. But is it really a shortcut? Not really. It just saves me from having to push this over this. Oh, it could have also gone that way. Looking at that now. Move, move. No! There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, super annoying gym puzzle. Nope, other way, other way, other way. And then I could battle this guy for that shortcut. That one's actually a shortcut. But we're just going to run, and we're just going to push this thing. Yo, this is the true speed run. Like, this is going to be the true test for speedrunners, is how fast they can do this gym puzzle. The speedrunning new challenge is 
Literal challenges. Not even game mechanics. There we go. I got it done, which means I can now go challenge the gym. Take on the Oliver Hall challenge. You passed beauty. Now all we got to do is take on this gym leader. And play black screen simulator. They're getting longer and longer game. Come on. That's like I can live with the graphical glitches and stuff. But I think that's my biggest pet peeve. Is the... I couldn't jump over it. What the heck? Is how long it takes to like get through those black screens. That's got to be my, like my biggest pet peeve in this game. Is the black screens. All right, now it's time to actually take on the gym leader. I am ready to take on Caddy. Or Catsy or whatever. Caddy? K-A-T-I. Whoa. K-A-T-Y. Caddy. Or Katie. I guess it could be Katie. I don't know, but Katie to me is K-A-T-T-Y or K-A-T-T-I-E. Alright. Come on. Come on, Katie or Caddy or whatever your name is. I love how it shows Pavilion here, but like she doesn't even use a Pavilion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much. Okay. Did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Caddy and I'm the owner here at Patisserie. Patisserie Soapberry. Or Patisserie. Can you say it in English? Patisserie? I don't know if that's a thing. Patisserie. Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader of the Cortundo gym right now. Forgive me. M. <laughs> my name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortundo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Oh, yeah? Well, you're about to get baked. I'm about to turn up the heat. I'm about to turn up the heat and I'm about to bake you. Especially with my fletchling. Okay, who are you leading off with? You're leading off with a nimble. You're leading off with a nimble. I pretty got I pretty much got most of my team up to around 14. Foycoco's 15. I think Azumarill's still level 13. Uh, but the rest is all pretty much 14. So yeah. Um honestly. Trashalize lasts the entire thing. Do I just trashalize? Honestly, let's do it. I'm going to trashalize right off the bat. And I'm just going to go for these all-out aerial aces. I think that's my best play. I know... I thought my phone like buzzed there for a second. But it was my remotes that I put down. Alright, we're going to aerial ace. Is this thing just going to get one shot? No, it lives. Okay, double kicks me. That's all right. That's all right. It's not very effective because I got rid of my normal typing. So that was actually really beneficial. Oh, uh, and we'll just go for an aerial ace again. Does she use a potion? No, she does not. Beauty. So this aerial ace should kill. And it does. Next up, she's got a Tarantula. All right, this is a pretty thick boy. Pretty thick boy. But I think we could still kill him. Aerial Ace. Once again, doesn't one-shot, but does an incredible amount of damage. Assurance does a ton to us. Aerial Ace again, and this should knock it out. And it does. 
Okay. Now it's time for her Teddy Ursa, and she's gonna terrestrialize into the bug type. It. This is what washed me. Yeah. Um. Whoa. What the hell was I saying? Yeah, right. Sorry. This Teddy Ursa is what washed me in my electric run through. It's got Furry Cutter, and it's going to do... Furry Cutter? Yeah, Furry Cutter, and it's going to do insane work. However, can an area lace do some decent damage? Okay, we do half. Can we live one? Oh, it goes for Furry... It missed its Furry Swipes! Why did it go for Furry Swipes? That's the first time I haven't seen it go for Fury Cutter. Oh, because it wasn't super effective. It wasn't, um, effective. It was not very effective. <laughs> we take out that Teddy Ursa. I was super worried about that thing. Yo, Fletchling, you were a beaut. You want to learn Flail? No. Katie, you got me last time, but this time, nah. I wasn't having it. I was really, like, I was extremely worried about this battle. So I'm really glad that it didn't do too much damage to me. And now we got a, our bug badge. I guess that's the badge in the corner. The bug badge. All right. Beauty. Wow, we randomly teleport out. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of up to... Level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as frosting on this cake? Oh, we got the TM for Pounce. I eat. Wait, does Pounce a new move? I was thinking about Lunge when she gave it to me. Is Pounce new? What the heck does Pounce do? I love how now we're teleported back into the gym. Hey, hey, Saltine. Just had to tell you my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How to go at the gym, by the way. I passed. I'm a beauty. Yes, haha. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. All right. Figuring out. Done. Use place like Vidya. Get stronger. Usually steps indoors. Speaking of going to strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope I hope you know I'm going to want a battle if we run into each other. Good to know. The next time I run into her, she's going to battle me. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really want to deal with that. But I mean, uh, it is what it is. Now it's time... What's the time to do? Now it's time to do the Stony Cliff Titan. From what I recall, looking at the levels and stuff, that comes second. Uh, so I'm not mistaken, like, Cloth is, like, level 16. So doing that next is definitely the play. So it's just a matter of figuring out where it is. Opening up the map and stuff. All right. Yeah, I knew about the crouch. Thanks. Thank you for the hopes. Thank you for the tips. Okay. Now, if I zoom out, we're in South Area Prov We're South Province Area 2 right now. No, we're not supposed to be going there. We're supposed to be going to Cloth right here. So, what's my quickest way of getting there? Yeah, flying here. I'm going to fly here, and we'll run to the des next destination. I probably should have marked it as my destination beforehand. Uh, we also get new encounters. So, that's going to be cool. I don't really know what I'm looking for exactly right now. 
I do know I'm actually going to put uh, Azuril in front to try to get it to evolve. Um, and we're going to... There's Aracuda here. Aracuda's sick. I love Barracuda. We're going to set as destination the Path of Legends. And yeah. We're going to get a move on. But I don't really know what typing exactly I want. Like, I'm going to look around, see what's available, and go from there. Um, like, we're about to go up against a bug rock type, I think. I think cloth is part bug, or is it pure rock? Not sure. What's over here? Uh, I'm officially past, like, the furthest point I got to. So, like, I don't know what's going to be around. Oh! Is that my salt rock? It's my salt. I need to catch it. I don't even care what's around here. I don't care. I need my rock salt. This guy needs to join the squad. It's literally me. Literally me. Ooh, ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we're going to throw a Pokeball now. Also, Azuril, you need some physical attacks so you can take advantage of huge power. But either way, Nackley was caught, and we're obviously just naming this thing Salty. Like, this is, like, yeah. Or we'll name it the Salt Tune. Because in case you guys don't know, I named my Discord the Salt Tune. And all of you are welcome to join, by the way. Linked in my description or bio, wherever you're at. Um, and yeah. What do we got? We've got Harden, Rock Throw, Mud Shot, and Smackdown. And we've got the Sturdy Ability, so that's pretty clean. Oh, is, are we down in speed, up in special attack? Yeah, but it's not that bad. We're not the fastest lad. Either way. What's over here? What else is down here? There's palmies. And Rookities and Nackleys, obviously. Send out Azuril to fight that. Because Azuril is super effective, so it'll win pretty much every time. Ooh, a Dusk Ball. Alright, we're in a cave. Interesting. Okay. Great ball. Anything down there? Oh, come on. Oh, no. I can do it. I can do it. No. Come on. Mirror it on. And I fell. Fantastic. I'm going to guess we get a climbing feature later on down the line. So I guess we'll have to come back and get, get whatever that item is. Is that a... No, that's a rookity. Okay. I thought it was a Sfeel for a second. I was like, what? Sfeel even in the game? I have no clue. Terrestrial Jigglypuff. That's ironic because it's the Terrestrial Jigglypuff that was shown in the uh, trailer. Um, oh, what's over here? What is over here? Oh, it just brought me in a circle. Knackley. Did you kill the other one? 
No, you didn't. Ah. Oh. I didn't want to get into a battle. Oh, whatever. Let's heal. And then we'll win it. I love how it looks like Maridon is here healing it. Okay, my speed fell. That's nothing. I don't really care. Rock throw. Okay. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, bubble beam. Okay. And then one more. Should seal the deal. He just crit to kill me, so I risked it. I risked it. Either way, I got the speed drop anyways on the bubble beam, so it came back. Oh! Chili's evolving! Look at that boy! We got a Krukala. Okay, the Crocolore doesn't look bad. It's its final evolution that looks bad. Crocolore or whatever. Or Crocala. Look, I feel like it would have still have some Spanish pronunciation. Like something new with Spanish pronunciation or something. Because like Fue Coco. Right? Don't die. I don't know if they can actually die from auto battling or not. Wait, is that a shiny? I don't know what this thing shiny looks like. Because, like, it was refusing to battle it, and it refuses to battle if it's shiny, but there was no sparkle. Okay, after some research, it's not shiny. I don't know why Azuril didn't want to fight it. It's also got red eyes, but it normally has yellow eyes, so I'm a little confused. Unless its eyes turn red when it's in battle. I hate that there's no sound or anything that the game makes whenever there's a shiny in this game. It's only the visual effect. It only does a sparkle when you're in battle. Honestly, I'm actually going to learn Bounce Over Water Gun. Just, like, because, realistically. Um, Sparky wants to learn Dig. Now that... I'll learn over uh, Charge. Azuril's evolving! Now we're actually usable, and now we actually have Stab, Bubble Beam, and stuff like that. I still do want, like, a better move for it. Maybe now that it's evolved into a Meryl, it can actually learn something. Also, I think I'm going to use an XP candy to get, um, get him up some levels. The Knackly. Remember moves. Do you learn anything previously that could have been better? Roll out. Eh. Slam. Tackle. Slam might be good to have over helping hand, but I'm going to keep charm for sure. Uh, we've got Bubble Beam as Bounce as well, which is clean too. Also, important thing to note, it's got the Fairy Terra typing. So that's cool. Uh, bag. Let's go grab uh, an XP candy. Yeah, XP, XS, and use it on Knackly. Oh, we could use an XPS. Yeah, we'll just use one. Okay, he wants to learn rock polish. And, uh... Um... We'll get him up to 15.
Also, what's my Meryl? Because I actually have an Adamant Mint that I could use on Meryl. Relaxed. Down in speed, up in defense. Palmy looks to be a mixed attacker, but it's got up and special attack. Fue Coco is definitely going to be an, a special attacker. Fletchling, up and special attack, down in special defense. Not the worst. Lechonk, up in speed, down in special defense, and down in speed, up in special attack. I mean, you got a huge power. You don't have a down in attack nature, so it's not the worst. If it had a down in attack nature, then I'd definitely use it. Uh, but yeah. Do that. Grab that. Oh, it's a gulpin. Very ironic that they put gulpin back in this game, especially when you have Shrudel. In the game, that kind of looks like a new gulpin. Kind of looks like a better gulpin. Shrudel's so cute oh my god shark red is here oh i might have messed up a little then again it would have given me another another fire type i don't need another fire type not only another fire type but another fire ghost so like was it worth it mm. But we got some big evolutions off in this one. Hey, Saltine. So from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in the rock in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. Just don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out or something too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look. If you're feeling stumped, it's pretty hard. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Anything over here? Cool items or anything. Kevin defeated a rookity. Alright. Anything over here? I tried to do it. I tried to do it. Oh, Stantler's here, so you can get Stantler here. South Province Area 5 over here. Uh, probably not where I should be. Yeah, considering that's a Luxio, this is probably going to be a little high leveled. A Lit Leo. Oh no, let's see if I can auto battle it. Do I win? I do win. Interesting. Ooh, a Skidoo. I love seeing Skidoo. I'm so happy it's back in the game. I'm actually a big Go-Go fan. A big Go-Go fan. All right. Like I said, we're probably not supposed to be here, so let's skedaddle before we get locked into a battle. Um, and let's just go grab our... Let's go find our Stony Cliff. Oh, I accidentally ran into you. My bad. My bad. So, yeah, it's... Oh, Jesus. get you out of here then your level you have one hp who something beat the shit out of you probably that skidoo no we're just gonna run from this thing Auto heal you because I think I'm gonna need you for this 
trash little thing. Oh, is that the Titan? Or is that just a cloth? That might just be a regular cloth walking around. Gulpin, a hasty mint. Can make its speed, but its defense lower. That's not bad. It's not bad. Terra Crystal down there. Okay. We're trying to find... Trying to find a thing. He mentioned a cliff, so I feel like I have to, like, jump off a cliff or something. Either way, we are at 32 minutes. So, it's probably gonna have something new here, right? With whatever this is. Either way, we're at 32 minutes. We're still pretty far away from the flag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're making our way there. We're gonna wrap this one up here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We took on a gym. We got some evolutions off. And we'll probably have some other ones coming soon. I mean, I don't know what level LeChonk evolves at, but I'm sure it's not far away. Uh, Talent uh, Fletchling, I think, is in one or two levels. Palmy's in a level, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can get... Uh, it's final evolution one level after that from the let's go feature so it's gonna be interesting we're gonna have to wait and see i hope you guys did enjoy this episode and as always stay salty